three children. She lost control of her car and went into a deep ravine. 16 WABC's Tammy Eswick spoke to that woman's father. It could have been a disaster. I'm, I'm just shaking my head, man. I had the world. Monday morning, a truck crash landed upside down in a ravine off North Mill Street. Inside that truck, a mother, three young kids, and a propane tank in the back. This is about the spot where Jackson police say things went wrong for that driver as she was trying to reach to get something off of her windshield. She ended up ramming into this iron post that's supposed to keep people from sliding into this ravine. Well, she went in. We decided to count how far the distance is between where she went in and where she finally stopped. Eight, eight, nine, 70. About 70 feet. Now, this is where that vehicle ended up upside down. Jackson police say the woman and her three children were able to get out of that truck safely and climb up this embankment. Gerald Ramsey says his 36 year old daughter borrowed his truck to take her five, seven, and eight year old girls to her mother's house. She had to have been speeding or something, but I have no idea. Somehow that woman lost control and plunged down this steep gully. You could see the contents scattered all over the crash site, including toys and that propane tank. She said she ran in a ditch. This, this is. <laughs> An ambulance rushed that woman and her three kids to the hospital, but Ramsey says they only had a few scratches and bruises. In Jackson, Tammy Eswick, 16, WAPT News. Now here is a look at where this accident happened. It was near the 2600 block of North Mill Street. That's between West Woodrow Wilson and Lorenz Boulevard. Once again, no one in this crash seriously hurt.